Welcome Pokemon Go Trainers, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to feature a Shadow Guard War. I know I am powering up Dialga in this video because I didn't have Dialga level 50. So that's why I am powering up in this video. And I have paired Gardevoir with Dialga and the Xerneas. So just to get the extra CP and HP, I am best budding him. Currently, the Master League meta is filled with Dragon Typing. So that's why I thought of giving a try to Shadow Guard of War, which is also level 50. So let's hop into the first match. Let's see what the first opponent has for us. Basically, this team is of Dragon Double Fairy line. Uh, in this match, I am leading with Dialga and later I am leading with Guard of War. I think first two match I am leading with Dialga here. So Dialga versus Dialga. And I am going to safe switch into my Guard of War and charm him down. And here comes the Mewtwo. I have to be very careful. He might bait me with a Psy Strike. So I have to call it correctly. I am going to shield here. The Shadow Ball will one shot from full health. And it was a good call. It was a Shadow Ball. So I am going to throw Triple Axel. Triple Axel just boosts up the charm damage. And he shields. So I think I can charm him down. And yes, I was able to do it. And let's see what the next pokemon is but opponent decide to resign the match because they don't have answer for the guard war so we won the first match let's hop into the next match and this time also i am leading with dialga so basically when i started playing with the dialga lead uh, it didn't work out so later uh, i swap out into my guard war as a lead and then it worked out very well so let's hop into the next match let's see what the next opponent has for us and it's a uh, dialga versus I think it's ho ho very bad and it can be a core breaker so i have to deal with the alga only so i'm going to dragon breathe and i'm going to farm up up to draco and let's see one sacred fire will get me very low so i'm going to shield here so hoping that he doesn't debuff me so sacred fire got blocked now i'm going for a bait and i'm going for the iron head now and hoping that he will shield here Let's see if he shields then I am in a bit good position but he doesn't. So now I am going to throw the second one immediately so that he doesn't throw any brave bird. So let's see if he going to shield here and he doesn't shield and he comes with Dialga so I swap out immediately into guard over just to do a charm damage. Let's see and opponent is farming up a lot of energy. I think he has reached iron head but still he is not throwing so I am going to throw my energy triple XL. Let's see, this will definitely grab the shield, otherwise it is a bye-bye to Dialga. And even now he is not throwing and now he threw finally. So I am going to shield here as I am boosted and one charm has gone through. So this will KO Dialga. And at the back there is a Xerneas, hopefully I can reach my triple axel before he reaches Moonblast. And I think it was a CMP, maybe, but I am going to throw this triple axel and he shields and Yes, it was a CM. No, it was not CMP, I think. And he throws Moonblast. This will KO. And I have very healthy Xerneas. So it will take two Moonblasts to KO. So opponent realizes it. So he decides to resign the match. So good game. We won this second match. And this time around, we are leading with the Guard of War. So now we will be hunting some dragons with our Shadow Guard of War. This team bit struggle against the Theron from Landorus. So we have to look out for that. So let's hop into the next match. Let's see what the next opponent has for our Gardevoir. It's long await time. And it's Gardevoir versus Palkia. So we found our dragon target. And here comes the Zacian. So I don't have a good answer. So I'm going to stay here. I'm going to boost up my attack with Triple Axel. But he reaches play rough I think. So I'm going to shield here. So this play rough got blocked and now I'm going to throw my triple axel. This will might grab the shield and but it will definitely give me the boost which is required and he blocked it. So hopefully I can charm him down but he reaches another play rough. So I'm going to shield here because I'm boosted now. So this play rough got blocked and now he's not definitely not going to come with Palkia. Let's see what the next Pokemon is. And he throws his thinking and it here comes the landorus our threat so i'm going to go for the triple axel this will be double super effective because of its 
flying and ground typing so he shields and now he's going to throw his energy this will ko and opponent throws sensius from it ko'd so i'm going to farm him down with the dialga hopefully i can knock out because i don't want zernius to face the landorus so he throws sensius from this will debuff me but i have to be very careful he might catch iron head on palkia and he swaps out immediately and now i have a zernius for this palkia so i'm going to farm up up to moon blast but he throws this is definitely an aqua tail so i'm going to no i don't have shield actually so i'm going to farm up extra and going for the moon blast this will one shot from full health so now this moon blast will ko palkia and i have a bit extra energy for landorus hopefully i can reach another moon blast but i decide to throw close combat because he might debuff me so i'm going to throw this close combat and it will get him very low he survive with 1 hp and 1 geomancy is enough to knock out the landorus so good game even though we had our threat landorus we still able to win the match so let's hop into the next match let's see what the next opponent has for us let's see if we have a dragon lead so here comes gardevoir and it's against landorus and our threat so i'm going to stay here i'm going to charm him charm will add up because landorus is not very bulky landorus throws here this is sensius storm i'm going to let first one go through and this will debuff me but that's fine i can buff my attack i pack with the triple axel hopefully i can reach but opponent does a very good catch on the dialga he catches the triple axel but that's fine i have a zernius for him so i'm going to over farm and wait for him to throw energy but he's not throwing so i decided to throw moon blast because close combat will debuff and i think one iron head should be enough to ko the zernius so i didn't throw it immediately so now i'm going to go for the close combat but i lose the cmp this is definitely an iron head so i'm going to block it and this was a iron head hopefully i can reach the second close combat and i throw this close combat which is already being generated this might grab the final shield and yes it grabbed hopefully i can reach the next close combat i do have a shield but i have to be very careful he might catch it so i'm going to block this one iron head as well and here i am going to wait a turn that he doesn't catch my close combat and here i am going to go for the close combat this will knock out the dialga let's see and if landorus comes up i'm going to hard swap into gardevoir and i swapped out and was unable to farm him down and he found me so let's see i'm going to come with zernius because sensius storm will be super effective against dialga and he throws sensius storm that's fine i can survive it hopefully i can farm him down he throws stone age that was not good i'm very low on my health and i blind throw here the close combat on palkia that's very unfortunate hopefully i can farm him down with my dialga and he just dragon breath me down and now it's a race between fast move and i think he throws his move hopefully he doesn't ko me and let's see i can survive it i survive with very low and i was able to dragon breath him down so good game we won this match as well the moment i swap out into gardevoir as a lead it gave me good result as you can see there are many dragons in the open master league the only counter for dragons are fairy typing so that's why i'm using two fairy types zernius and gardevoir so let's hop into the next match let's see what the next opponent has for our gardevoir and it's gardevoir versus palkia another dragon so charm down and he comes with the landorus so that's fine i have to stay here because i have two good answer at the back for the palkia so i'm going to take this sensius storm this will get me very low hopefully i can reach triple axel before he throws his energy and i was able to reach but i think he threw it immediately so i'm going to shield here and this was another sensius storm and now i'm going to throw the triple axel i think it was a cmp tie and this triple axel will grab the shield now i'm going to hard swap into my dialga and dragon breath him down but unfortunately much shot generates energy so fast that he reaches another sensius storm that's very unfortunate i am very low on my health let's see if he returns with a palkia or he is going to return with any other pokemon let's see i don't think he is going to return with palkia he comes with a zernius i am debuff so iron head won't be doing that much but he is forced to throw moon blast or close combat because he can't farm me down 
because of steel typing so geomancy is farming up lot of energy and he throws it this could be a close combat i think so that's fine i can it will knock me out and i came with guard of war just to charm him down and he comes with palkia and i have a hard answer one moon blast should knock out and he throws his aqua tail and uh, this aqua tail does a good amount of damage and i will throw moon blast but i think i over farm a bit and i throw moon blast but i lose the cmp this aqua tail will get me very low and there is very less chance that i can win this match but still i will give a try because there is uh, zernius at the back with energy so i'm going to throw this moon blast this will knock out and hopefully i can generate back to back close combat but he has energy and i was able to do it but i think opponent also has back to back so he throws first close combat and i lose the cmp here every time it happens even though my zernius is 100% but still i lose the cmp and i was i wasn't able to charm him down as well so we both tied this was not a win not a lose we both tied because we both KO'd each other at the same time so hopefully you are enjoying this video and thank you for watching this video till end if you're new to channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such interesting videos and if you are already subscribed please like comment and share with your pogo friends so now we are going to look at the final match of this video so let's hop into the final match let's see what the guard over has for us and guard over versus ogaleo that's very bad but i have to stay here hopefully i can reach shadow ball to do a good amount of damage to the ogaleo so that my back to pokemon can manage to ko this ogaleo but he throws psychic fang this will debuff my defense and i think i can't reach my shadow ball so this psychic fang doesn't ko i think i will survive with few hp and i will throw this triple axel if opponent is not counting move he might shield so but that's not the case he counted very well so definitely going to come with dialga and he comes with the zygarde so what i'm going to do is i'm going to full send the draco meteor this might grab the shield or one shot the zygarde so i'll throw this draco hopefully and he shields here so i'm going to hard swap into my zernius because from this health range moon blast should be enough i can tank earthquake with the full health so i will tank it and i'll farm up extra and go for the moon blast now so this moon blast will be enough to ko the zygarde and i have farm up extra just because so that i can throw a close combat once sogaleo returns and over farming a bit extra because i think there is something at the back weak to zernius so i shield here even though it's a psychic fangs so i'm going to shield and over farm a bit and i will throw this close combat this might grab the final shield or it will be bye bye to sogaleo and it ko'd the sogaleo and there is a palki at the back so now i'm in a good position i'll throw this moon blast this will grab final shield and then i can come with dialga just to dragon breathe him down this is the advantage of dialga because of steel typing dragon breathe are not doing that much damage as compared to the other dragons so i'm going to definitely shield here even though it's aqua tail and i have a reach iron head this iron head should be enough to ko the palki so good game we won the final match as well so hopefully you enjoy this video till the time take care trainers have a good day bye